Hello guys, I'm back for part three, the ending of the jar. So I'll put the jar down here. Oh, I, un I untangled this one. It's very pretty. While I was taking a smoke break. I like the pink with the gold. It looks really nice and it's really long. It looks about, I don't know, 30, 40 inches maybe. So let's do this so it doesn't tangle back up, hopefully. And I untangled the ones that were tangled together. Here's one of them. has a very long chain, but you can take the chain. I know what this is for now. When they have a lobster class up there, so you can wear it like this if you want to. Make it shorter. I like the caged pearl. I think that's really pretty. And the tassel. So I got that one. Necklace. This is the other one. This is made by... This one has like a 30 inch chain on it. By Calypso. A something for Target. So I guess they sold Calypso at Target. It's got the shell. I'm guessing the shell went in the back. So that's why I have it that way. Let me see what the other side of that looks like. Oh. Well maybe this is the other side. Maybe it's supposed to go like this. I'm not sure. But I untangled it. So there we go. It's pretty. I like it. And I like the shell. Put that one over here with the neck. No, I don't want to get tangled up again. And this last one that was tangled up with it has a bar here. It's got some wear on the back, but it's got that bar in it. This one was made, it's a short chain. This one was made by B-E-I-J-O of Brazil. I've never had a Brazilian necklace. Pretty cool. Or one that was made from Brazil. <laughs> okay, and I untangled this oh, shell one. It's a Y necklace. And this one was from Cookie Lee. So Cookie Lee makes this beautiful shell necklace. Oh, I think it goes this way. So you can see all the pretty shells. It's kind of short, like 16 inches or 17 inches maybe. Yeah, that's going to get tangled up again. And I, I figured out this clip thing. So you can, I'm guessing you can either clip it like in the back of your hair so it's like a necklace. Or you can just clip it in your hair so it's kind of on the back of your head, you know. Like a waterfall on the back if you have hair, long hair. I don't know. Depends on what you want to do with it. I like it. I probably, I'll probably keep that because I like hair things. I put the bracelets away but I forgot that one. Okay. Into the jar we go. Here is a very nice plastic bead, but I like the gold in between. Stretchy bracelet. I like that. There's some little seed bracelets here. Oops. I got a brown one and a black one. Little seed bead stretchies. I have a white one too from earlier. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this has three skulls. Look at that. Two pink ones, and they feel like stone. They are stone. Well, probably ceramic, huh? I'm guessing they can't really. But I like the little lines in the heads of the skull. And these are glass beads. Yeah, glass beads. This is a nice one. I like the look of it. And I'm not a skull person, but I do have that skull pirate ring that I really love. And I wear a lot. This is an earring. It's kind of... Not hanging right. I shake it. Maybe that'll help. Sometimes shaking it helps. <laughs> and no. Oh, it's bent. Okay, there we go. It's pretty leaves. It's still bent, but I need to unbend it some more. That is pretty. Looks like one of the leaves. Oh, it's just the leaf is bent. Okay, so I guess it would look like this better. I pushed that middle leaf down in the center. I hope that's not glaring too much in the sunlight. Here's another one of these uh, silver square bracelets. But this one's bigger. See, here's this other one. It's got a smaller. I hope these are sterling. They're heavy. Either way, I like them. 
Here is a, oh, this is one of those uh, slave rings. I don't like the, why they call it that, but let's see if I can get it on here so you can see what it's supposed to look like, maybe. Something like, yeah, that. I don't like them. I don't like the name of them. Maury's daughter likes them. Maury is on, uh, um, NV. Oh, I can't remember. She's on my video of, of the jewelry people I put in NV for you. I don't <laughs> There's another small one. Here's a silver tone chain. It's very shiny. Oh, it's still got the tag on it. Brand new. Does it have... It has two lobster clasps. But it has the tag. And it goes like... It's not hanging right. Because I can't open it. Because of the tag. But it's got three strands of chain. I think it's three. Yeah, three. It will hang prettier than that. But that's nice. Very lightweight. It wouldn't be hard to wear. I'm just going to get tangled for sure. From something. Well, it didn't, did it? It didn't get tangled in the jar. So why would it get tangled now? I got an earring stuck on my <laughs> phone wire. My earphone. <coughs> oh, good. I got the match to the... Smoky gray earring that I like. I hope the orange one's in here too because I really like the orange one better. Oh, this is where the earrings go. Shoot, I got all these necklaces separated so they won't tangle and they're taking up space. I believe this is a match to one of my earrings. I put the earrings in a bag so I can't even look. Oh, we have another one of these. So that's the third one of those. So maybe they're not for the sleeves. I don't know. Or, like my last year, I had triples and quadruples of things. So maybe that was just like that. Something's... Oh, I was going to say something's missing, but no. This is a necklace with just a ball on it. It's very simple. Simple. It's got a... Oh. I guess this is a charm, too. I don't know what that is. Let's see. You guys know what that is? Looks like it would have held something. Like, see, it has a canal. And it's round. I don't know. Oh, maybe it held, like, a picture or something? I don't know. <laughs> ah, maybe if I search it, I'll find out. But there's no maker mark, so I can't really, you know, find out that way. Now yeah, they're going to get tangled up. Forget it. I have a shell necklace. That I have at least one in each jar. Which is okay. I'm going to do something with them one day. This is an arrow. No maker mark. See the arrow? Am I in the right way? I hope I'm in the right spot for you guys. Let me know if you like this view better. Or if you like it better when I... My hands are really big. <laughs> Here's the match to this earring. We have that. It's a nice earring. Oh, that one necklace I put away already. The one with the circle and the bar. I watched part of that video and I realized it was too high up. You guys couldn't see it. So, you need to be wary of that and not do that. Okay, this is nice. Where's the other side of the clasp? Go. Oh, this is just one of those ones that has the clasp hanging on it. So you can make it shorter if you wish. This is very pretty. I like these beads. These carved metal beads. And then you have wood beads. Interchanged with it. And chain. It's very nice. It's long. It's... Uh, sorry, that's my dog. Mitzi! There's a squirrel on the telephone line again. She hates squirrels. Like that cartoon. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> Should we get looking? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you guys. This is a set of bangles, but one of them is broken. So I'll just take that one off. 
So now there's just two separate bangles instead of a collection of three. I'm not, that would cut somebody hurt. <sighs> okay, this is... Mitzi! No! I hope that wasn't too loud. I covered the microphone. This is beautiful. I like this. Look at Inyamu. No maker mark, which is a bummer. Wait, there is a number here. It says ZW2825. Must be a patent number, you think, right there? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, there goes the squirrel running across. <laughs> My dog's running across the yard trying to get it. It's too high up. <laughs> She's silly. Okay, we have a, ooh, very pretty ring. Doesn't have any sing in it, so. I get. I think it's missing emerald cuts here. Do you think the emerald cut stones go in here? Looks like it would. Or it could just be made like that. I have no idea. It's very pretty. Here's the match to that comma cufflink. I'm going to hook them together. I'm sure it's not a comma, but that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty pendant. Is it missing anything? Hopefully not. It's dirty. That's weird. Oh, it's just dirty. It needs to be cleaned. It's a pretty bow pendant. That little spot right there is something sticky that needs to come off the stone. At least I hope the stone's under there. And there it is. It's very pretty. Put that over here. Put the earrings. At least I got those chains. I can hang it on one of those. This, oh, that's the same one. I was gonna say, this has never been worn. You already saw that. <laughs> this one has some missing stones also. It's a gold tone. It's like a super infinity sign. Hey, <laughs> hey. Huh. This is another one of those picture frame things. It's got a number in here. Maybe that will help me look it up. I don't know. That's three of those so far. I know there's more. Because I saw them. Here's the match to that cufflink, which is really pretty. Is there? I didn't look on the post to see if there was a maker. No, but I think that's really cool looking. Old. I think it looks old. If anybody knows, you know, please comment. This is another fashion ring. A, oh, the pearl has all the coating taken off of it. You can just pop that out and put a new one in. <laughs> Here's an earring of a stone. I'm not sure what stone looks like. Agate. Agate. Stone. <laughs> oh. This earring. Looks like it goes to that one pendant, remember? It had the pretty pink and the pretty green. I don't have the pendant out here anymore. But it looks like it would match that. This is a pretty earring. I might have a match to this from the other jar too. That I opened last week. I'm guessing they have just a bunch of jewelry that just push it inside the jar and sell it. <laughs> it's got a lightning bolt or something, but it's tangled. Oh, that fell off. I don't know if that went to this. It's a very dainty chain here. Not very dainty. I mean, it's, I've seen smaller. I have smaller. That silver one's smaller than this one. The one that says it's sterling. But this is small. It's got a big old knot in it. Okay. I can't I'm not gonna be able to get that out right now. I need a needle. Needle helps, you can sit there and push it. And a lot of times it will untangle. Came loose a little bit. Okay. 
It's broken. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. There is a lightning bolt type thing on here. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> but it's hanging at the end, so I don't know what it is. If it's a, ma I thought it was a maker mark, but oh no, it has a, it has the jump ring on the other side, so that goes to on um, probably on that broken part of the chain. This might go on it too. It's like a horn thing or a squash blossom, isn't that what? The, where'd it go? Oh, isn't that what squash blossoms look like? Like that? Which I've never gotten one. That's on my wish list to find a squash blossom Native American necklace. Which is good money. Oh, Anita Fanita found uh, a very nice bracelet. You guys should watch her video. It's one of her latest ones. So I can, it has it in the title that it's a big something like a big surprise. Or she, but you should watch it. It's awesome what she found in her jar. Okay, this one is also got a knot and broken. It says, oh, that's nice. Fearless. These look gold. But they don't, they're not marked. But, like, this fearless thing is in really good condition and it looks gold to me. So I might test those, the squash blossom and that. And, because the chains are also really small. This one not. <laughs> this one is not gold. This one has a maker mark. Oh, it's just a dot. Oh no, it's LC. Uh, Liz, Liz Claiborne. It's just a leaf. Or a feather. What is that? Feather. It's a feather that's discolored. It needs to be cleaned. But she has this little tag with a... Like a rhinestone on one side. And then the other side says LC. For Liz Claiborne. And it goes over here. Over here. This one, wait, oh, I have another broken gold, oh no, it's not broke, good. Oh, this might be what the squash blossom was on. Oh well, no, because it wouldn't fit, unless I took, unless the jump ring fell off. This is a very beautiful gold chain in good condition. Gold tone chain. It's very shiny. No wear. Put that with the other ones. It's a different color than the other ones. That one's also lighter than the other ones. As in in weight. Okay, how does this go? There is a clasp here. Okay. And it's got a knot. Of course it does. <laughs> I like the colors on this one. It's got some uh, amber color. It's got some root beer color. Champagne color. I don't know what this wood bead is doing on here. It looks like it's doesn't belong. Why? I have no idea. But anyway, they have a wood bead, and then they have the champagne color plastic crystals, and then very pretty, very pretty. I have to untangle it some more, but you guys get the idea of what it looks like. I like the colors a lot on that one. Oh, this is big, 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 thick as in you know. Oh. It's got two things here. It's tied in a knot. And it has tassels. I have no idea what it is. None whatsoever. Unless there was supposed to be... No, yeah, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Jump right here. <clears throat> I have no idea. <laughs> Anybody have an idea, please let me know. It's very light. It's one of those hollow chains. But it's cool looking. I'll put that over here to search and hopefully find what it is. Oh, we have some more shells here. These ones are cute. Little shells. Oh. And the chain stuck on this one. So, oh, I got it. They're the same shells. These are cute. These are like little teeny shells. I mean, I couldn't pick those up on the beach if I wanted to. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even see him. My eyes are so bad. <laughs> Here is another spike br bracelet. But it doesn't look like the other one. The other one I think was a pyramid. This is actually a spike. But it's stuck on this necklace. Which I think is a locket. Looks like a locket. 
I hope it's a locket. I love lockets. Locket, locket, locket. Yeah, I know. Quit saying that. Mm. Come on, untangle. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And this has really good weight to it. The um, spike stretchy bracelet. It's very heavy. That would make a good weapon. You know, you hold it like this. And if you're in a fight, and poo. That would protect you against anybody. That would hurt. Like crazy. You just slide it off your wrist, and well, there you go. You're ready for a rumble. This is a locket. You see inside? It's a little round locket. Silver tone. It's cute. It's a, a silver tone locket, but it's on a gold chain. It makes no sense. Gold tone chain. I like lockets, though, so I don't care. There's no mark, no maker mark, nothing. There's a bracelet here. It has the pull string ties. I like these bracelets with the bars. i never seen them with the pretty little... These are plastic, but they have pretty little crystals on it. Usually, it's just the string. I like this crystal, Add, adding the crystal to it. It's really pretty. Oh, this is going in my collection. I have several, well, okay, maybe five different of these little bead bracelets. <laughs> I think they're so cute. This one's a pony. I have Snoopy. I have a pony. I have skulls. I have an elephant, I think. Or a rhino. I can't remember. But the ponies are so cute. Look at how cute the ponies are. I think these beads are so cute. And maybe when I get enough, because they're all different colors, maybe I'll just make myself a necklace or something. Here's a bracelet. It's got this, I don't know if that's a maker mark or if it's just a charm. It's, it's faux pearl and it's got this gold tone ball there, stretchy. I'm, I'm going to end up finishing the jar. I hope it doesn't go too far over the 30. Oh, this is nice. This one's not a stretch. Oops. Looks like it's one of those malt balls. This one's not a stretchy ring. And it's kind of cool, though, how it has an opening there. This one might fit my ring finger. I don't know. I wear a size 9.5, I think. Yeah, I have big fingers. It's a very heavy ring. This one says Hope. That's nice. Hope. It's little, I think they're metal balls. Can't tell. I need a magnet. <laughs> but then if it doesn't stick, I still be confused. I'll check it later to see if it's metal. I have another wooden bead and put it in my pocket. Oh, here's a match to this really, really cheap uh, stud earring. Which I have over on the other place. I mean, in the bag. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, this is cool. This has got a symbol on it. Oh, it says Colette Mal Malfoul. M A L O U F. M A L O U F. I think it's for your hair. And it has this little symbol on it right here. Yeah, it's got to be for a ponytail. That's cool. Mine. <laughs> this stuff has got some kind of stuff on it. That makes sense, huh? Smudge. Smudgy stuff. This is a brooch of a purse. I don't know if it's a fashion purse. <laughs> it's a brooch. No no signature. I like brooches. I think they're cool. Here is another ring. This is nice. Let me put it on here. I like it. I think it might adjust if you were to pull it apart a little bit. But is it missing a stone? Oh, it's missing a stone. Why, why, why? I'm going to keep that one on my finger. Eh, these balls are just... Oh, it's a different one. Here is a... A different... This one's metal, like filigree. I'm going to put that in my pocket so it doesn't... This is so pretty, but the stones are missing. They are mother of pearl stones. It's a swan earring. Look at that. I would love to have this complete. My sister loves swans. 
I would give those to her. Hopefully they're at the bottom of this jar. You know, I'm just going to go as far as I can without pulling all the stuff out. This is a cool weed. Oh, and it's got rhinestones on it. It's got rhinestones on it, and it's really neat. I like that. It must have been on something. Then we have a pin. Oh, earlier I had one that said strength. This one says love. Very nice. There's just a broken circle here. Here is a gold chain. Double, double strand gold chain. That's cool. That will hold some nice stuff. I don't want everything to start rolling. Oh, I did have these beads in my other jar, too. They are so pretty. They got, like, looks like roses inside. And, uh, silver. It's really pretty. They're hooked onto these little sea charms, so you can hang them on anything. I thought they'd make good earrings. Here is a earring. Oh, this is a pretty earring, too. I'm going to take the earring back back so you, you can see the earring. These might fit this one. These stones. No, they're too big. But, yeah, that's pretty. It's got a gold post, so I'm going to test this one. You should test the ones that have gold post on them. Because they could be gold. And they have been. I have found gold that way. Oh, maybe it says it on the post. Sometimes it says it on the post, they said. Oh! I almost dropped it. I got something on my hand. What the heck is that? Some kind of powder. Yeah, it has something written on there. I can't see it. I don't know why I'm trying to look. I can't see it. I'm blind, remember? <laughs> There's something in the jar, like a powder. It got on my skin. I don't know what it is. Ew. It was orange. I don't see anything in there. Oh, wait. I see it. I pulled, It came out of the jar and landed on my shirt. It's a piece of pastel chalk. Nice. See? <laughs> or lipstick or something. I don't know. It's just gross. Feels like chalk. Like pastel. Pastels. Yeah. This is, uh, I'm guessing, ha supposed to have a knot. But I'm not going to untangle it right now. These pretty beads are, these are beautiful. Aurora Borealis beads. So there's a big knot here. I don't know what this chain goes down or up. Oh. Yeah, it's just a big confusion here. I gotta figure it out. It's gonna take too long to figure it out here. Here's the clasp. So it'll be separated like so. Yeah, I have no idea. But these are pretty. Plastic, right? Yeah, plastic. I like to put it over here to be untangled. We have a... Another ring with a... Little dangle on it. Oh, these... Plastic parts go in here. Oh, they don't snap in. Some of the... Plastic parts came out of these picture frames. There's three more. So that makes six. Uh-oh. I dropped something. Dang it. Oh, I got it. Whew. Oh, it's a pretty rose earring. White rose. That's pretty. I like flowers <laughs> for some reason in jewelry. There's two green roses here. I've never seen green. I got a peace rose in my last jar. I hope that's in here. Because I only had the one. It was beautiful. Got some loose purple plastic beads. Here's a nice looking earring. It's got a stone on it. I'm going to test this one because of the setting. It looks like it could be sterling. Here is a very discolored V earring. Oh. Earrings go up here. What am I doing? Oops. This is... Oh. A moon, I guess, or... I don't know. I have no idea. Here's an A. That's kind of cool looking. 
Oh, this is cute. This is an owl ring. It's missing a stone. I never had an owl ring. There's a stretchy one that I want to get from Fairy Vixen. This is Nano. Oh, Nanu Nanu. Oh, it's a Mork. Oh, it doesn't have. It's just the watch part. The case is gone. But it's uh, Mork and Mindy. Robin Williams. Man, that would have been collectible. All I have is the mechanism. <laughs> Where's the band in the case? <laughs> Somebody took the casing. Here's a pretty feather earring. I like that one. Just the same swan you. The man in the swan. Oh. Here's another ring with the dangle. Like the other ones I was wearing earlier. Here we have two more seed bead. Oh, three. Three more seed bead bracelets. Pink, gold, and clear. <laughs> Got a lot of beads in my pocket. Here's a match. I, have, I saw this one just a little bit ago. Match to that. Oh, this one has... Oh, it's missing rhinestone. I think the other one was missing rhinestones too, so... I guess fair is fair. <laughs> broken piece, broken piece. Here's a very small oh, piece of a chain. Can't be s anything, I don't think. It might fit your ankle. I'm not sure. Oh, hide your crazy. It's a bracelet. <laughs> hide your crazy. <laughs> Toggle bracelet, and it has a, a rhinestone and a pearl. Uh, I don't see a maker mark anywhere. Yeah, but that's cute. Hide your crazy. A lot of people are gonna want that one. <laughs> Says meow. That's cute too. No maker mark on it. Man, I'm really bummed about the Mark and Mindy watch. At least that would have been a nice watch to search up and stuff. Well, I'm still going to search it. Here is a wooden bead. And they have these little arrows on it. Wooden bead bracelet. Stretchy. Here's part of a... Oh, it was a, a watch, I think. It's a breast cancer awareness watch. See, I had some of these links in my other jar. Like this. Where it's just like part of a watch band. But not really a watch band. Some more of those red beads. Oh, this is a giant claw, isn't it? Oh, and then it has this little one on the other end. What do you think that's about? What is this? Could it be a bracelet? Where would, how would you hook it up? Would that fit in there? No. I have no idea. That is weird. Has a little older clasp on it and then a newer clasp on it. Huh. I think that's called the Figaro chain. The name of the links. Figaro. We have a silver stud ball earring. <laughs> Oh, there's a pair of orange earrings in here. Match. Oh, what is that? Tape? Ew. Got three of them. I think... Th oh, there's two the same and then one's different. Okay. Come on. This is stuck on here. Okay. I wish I had the match to the glittery ones. Oh, they are glittery. All three of them. Okay, never mind. They're all the same. All three orange Glitter roses. Is it pretty, huh? So hopefully there's a fourth one. Oh, I thought this was a locket. It's a button cover. See? Oh, see? Here. It's very pretty, though. Got two of those. Same ones. More of those metal ball beads. More of the red bead. I have a... More broken circles. I don't know what those are. I have an earring here. What is it? It's just a triangle-like earring. Eye, side, or eye shape. Here is a ring. Very, very discolored. 
X marks the spot, I guess. Looks <laughs> pretty on. It's just discolored like crazy. I think this might have been an earring. I'm not sure. It's like a piece of mesh. It has rhinestones on top here and some dangles down there. I don't know what it's for. There's a lot of weird things in this jar. Miscellaneous things that I don't know what they are. Okay, this is big. I'm not going to pull out any more of those uh, charms. Picture charms. I think you guys have seen enough of those. I got some stuff here. At the bottom of the jaw here. It's a lot of time you find really good stuff at the bottom, you know, of the jar. <laughs> I think that's the Pope. <laughs> that's a nice stone. Let's see. Ah, nothing expensive looking. Which would have been nice. Oh, I got the other swan. And she, she's missing a stone too. He or she. Wait, is this an earring? This might be an earring. Okay, I can show this. Oh, it's pretty. I don't have the other one. I might in have it somewhere from another jar. I just don't remember seeing it. But that's pretty, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is a earring back type of thing. You know, it holds the earring in, but it hangs under your earlobe. Really pretty. But there's only one, sadly. Let me take that ring off. The owl. Uh, this one. Okay, I got a stretchy ring. This one is made with beads. I had two of those in my last drawer. They're very comfortable, actually. I think it's a flower made out of dyed shell. See the bead weaving? And you got that. Flower. It's very pretty. Oh, we used to have a Subaru. This is a Subaru key fob chain thing, keychain. I thought maybe it came apart, but no. We used to have a Subaru, we don't know anymore. Now we drive a... Uh, I don't know what we drive. <laughs> this is a discolored ring, but it's a pretty pattern. Oh, this has a cross and the Pope. Yeah, it is the Pope. I think... Yeah, that's the Pope. It's a pin. And it has a dangle of a cross here. That's cool. I've never seen anything like this. Not on watching videos or in my own jars. It's different. I don't know what that is. I have to look that up. Here's the other swan. It's missing the upper feather. He's got his eye. Did the other one have an eye? Yeah, black eye. They have black eyes. Oh, here's good. I have a match. This is the first time I ever had a match to one of these things. Most of the time I just get one. This is the broken earring. I have a earring like this already, but the back is not on it. And we have a stud earring. Oops. Okay, that's it. Everything else is just beads and... St oh, wait, there might be... This might be an earring. Yes. Oh, that is what that's supposed to look like. And I have one of those earring things like that. Oh, but it's gold. Never mind. But that's what that mesh is supposed to look like. Cool. At least I know what it is now. And this is a very pretty stretchy bracelet. I don't want to stretch it, but you know. Very pretty. Okay, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. And I hope you liked the treasures I found. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day.